Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another crazy f- week. Um, you know, shout out to JR, Blind Guide Comedy, for shooting this stuff again. You know, um, every week's like a new thing. Like, every week seems to be like some new shit going down. I mean, some of it's calmed down, which is great. Um, I do have to do another shout out to uh, Troubled Monk Brewery. They do have a new batch of... Uh, a new batch of hand sanitizer out today, April 3rd. Um, so, you know, if you need a little scrubby, head on down there. The guys will hook you up. They're great people down there. Guys, girls, you know. Um, but remember, keep your social distancing. Those markers on the ground are there for something. Um, so, uh, let, let's, let's get into some of the shit that's been going out. Um... <laughs> So, somebody suggested this show on Netflix. I don't know if y'all have watched it, but I have watched it from, like, start to finish. Kind of binge watch this on bitch. Um, The Tiger King. You know, <laughs> you got sex, you got gay, you got drugs, you got country music, and you got one fucked up woman. Really fucked up. Carol Vasquez. Holy sheep shits. And Joe Exotic, holy fuck, man, like, if you want to have see a fucked up show and you thought your life was fucked up, watch this show. Very fucked up shit. Um, it's kind of like all over the place. Like, actually, maybe I should add sex, drugs, country music, rednecks, gay, this, switching straight guys to gay for money and drugs. Um, and then plots of murder. It, it, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's all fucked up. And then, and then of course, you know, you got this group. I'm not going to say who, not this, not whatever group you'll find out if you watch the show and they make this video of going, Oh, we are so innocent. We didn't know that it was going to show our dark side. Come on, motherfucker. It's a documentary. How are you not going to sit there and, and be like, oh, I want to get everybody else's dirt out, but not mine? Shit. But I will say, it did touch close to home. I think, uh, you know, one of my exes are crazy as that bitch. Hmm. I could I could end up, like, fucking missing in some fucking oil well or something. Anyways. <laughs> Let's move on to some fun shit. Um... It's talking with a family member out in Ontario, and uh, I guess they were at a bank, and they were trying to come out the door, and I guess this person was standing in the door as they were trying to like do the crossing thing, and that person's yelling at them to get the fuck out of the way, and the other person's telling them to get the fuck out of the way, and they, they basically back and forth, right? And I'm like, you know, I got a perfect solution for that. I said, don't argue. Just fucking sneeze in their direction. They'll they'll, they'll go running. Just poof, gone. Motherfucker, be out your out of your way in like two seconds. Just you know, who would know that sneezing would be your ultimate weapon in this day and age? <laughs> oh man. Um, no, let's do a flashback. Let's do a, so before all this shit went down, I used to do delivery. And food delivery was, you know, you see some very interesting characters. Like, even now, I'm pretty sure. Fortunately, I've been down for a bit. Um, I'll tell you why, too. Um, But, so, doing delivery, you see some interesting characters. And, um, you know, during my delivery, I had a few very um, regulars. You know, we got on a very, you know, tight basis. We knew each other by name. And, you know, to to save people any any issues here, I'm going to... I'm going to go by, uh, this person's name is Dave. Just because we, we all know a Dave out there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so Dave orders orders his food this one day. And it's, you know, I go to his house and knock on his door. And, hey, Dave, how's it going? Oh, good, Rob. How are you doing? Oh, doing good. And how's the kids doing? Oh, they're doing good, you know. Cool, cool. You know, I'll give him his food and go on my way. Um, a little bit later on that night, about 11 o'clock ish, I see Dave's number come up, but Dave's not at home. Dave's at this like little fucking strip motel off the highway. Oh, 
I'll take it. I know Dave. We're good. You know, maybe you need somebody to talk to you, right? Maybe you had a fight. So I, you know, go out there, knock on the door, and Dave opens the door. Hi, Dave. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Rob. Hi, not Dave's wife. Um, so yeah, so so uh, I hand Dave the debt machine to pay for his thing and gets it all set up where he uh, approves everything. But he sits there for a second and looks down and goes and hand me the machine and then Tip says. You know, Zuri's like, Rob, just put whatever number in. I'm like, no, Dave, that's not how this works. Dave, you got to put in the number. So that night, Dave tipped me $250. Now, this is a bit of a, a bit of a lesson for everybody. If you're going to be fucking the side chick at a hotel in the middle of like, you know, shitty alley. Maybe, just maybe, don't call your favorite pizza place. Call somebody else. Because you just might get the driver that knows you. And you might have to pay him to keep his mouth shut. Yeah. Dave, you learned your lesson. <laughs> uh, anyways, I was going to talk about how I uh, I kind of stopped doing delivery. It's not because of this COVID-19 thing. Um, you know, and I shout out to all the other delivery drivers out there. All the support workers, nurses, doctors, everybody. And I mean, yes, everybody's talking about, you know, nurses and, and, um, they call them frontline workers, uh, such as grocery store people and that, but I haven't heard a shout out to delivery drivers, shout out to the, to your delivery driver, tip them because they are risking, they're risking their health as well. Okay. They're making sure that you get your food to your door. Um, but no, it's not this COVID-19 that's stopping me. Um, back in February, I ended up, uh, deciding to, uh, do a bit of a stunt to bring some energy to a crowd. And this stunt ended up having me fracture my leg. And yeah. So what ended up happening was, is I, uh, did a running jump to, to bring attention. And as I hit the air, all I could hear is, uh, is gravity going, Hey Rob, you can't do this. And then I'm like, Oh yes, I can. And kind of had that moment where I had I had a song in my head, where it's as good as I once was, but not as good as I ever was, sort of deal. And as I hit my landing, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> so I did fracture my leg just below my knee, um, and that actually turned into nerve damage. So yeah. Um, needless to say, us comics, we do go out there. <laughs> we do stupid shit. We fuck up. Um... And it's kind of wild. It is. It is kind of wild because uh, sometimes, you know, just just sometimes. Um. Anyways, moving on to some of the shit that I've seen this week. Um. Thankfully, people, you know, some people are still going stupid about toilet paper. Stores are stopping it. Um. I did hear of of three people getting stopped by the police and getting thousand dollar tickets. For being in the same car and having the same address. It's like, fuck you. It's like, motherfucker. You know, these these people, you know, they could live in the same house. You never know. They could be quarantined with each other. Maybe fucking each other. Who cares? Um, <laughs> on another side is I heard of this one swinger club that is going to try to open up. And I'm like, you know. Ah. Uh, Something I just don't understand is you're going to open up a swing club underground and you're going to go ahead and go on a fuck fest. You, you might as well just, you know, what, ask, ask whoever has COVID-19 and just fucking go and get it. <laughs> it just affect everybody because this is just stupid, man. Like, I mean, you know, people, men risk their dicks over some stupid shit all the time. We'll fucking throw the dice. But really, during this time, you're dumb. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it there. I know it's a bit of a rant, maybe not as funny as normal. Hopefully you did laugh. Hopefully I helped you out. I know crazy hair, all fucked up. No, no, no. I'm in a basement. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. And here's JR. Or I think Nick was this week. Nick, JR, whoever fuck's I was saying, here they are!